This video was finished on Thursday, January 7th, 2021, and therefore does not contain any information regarding the presidential inauguration that may be released after that date. 2020 has been an interesting year to say the least, but in the United States, news of the presidential election has been the latest frenzy. This year's inauguration is going to be different, but not to fear. We're going to walk you through it. First, let's go over each of the steps that lead to a presidential inauguration. November 3rd was election day, which started the whole process. Millions of Americans headed to voting booths, and those who were unable to vote in person sent in their absentee and overseas ballots throughout November 4th through the 23rd. Next, from November 5th to December 12th, state certified election results for the new president and vice president, which determined how state electors voted in the Electoral College. As of January 7th, 2021, Congress has certified that Joe Biden has won the presidential race with 306 electoral votes after mass rioting by pro-Trump crowds inside the Capitol in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. And on the 20th of January, the new president and vice president will be sworn in. This is when the former president usually concedes to the new elected president. This year's election and subsequent inauguration have been far from the norm for a number of reasons. Due to COVID-19, only members of Congress and a plus one are invited to the event. The attendees will be wearing masks and giving COVID tests. The Presidential Inauguration Committee has also asked the public to stay home. What also makes this year's inauguration different is the mass accusations of voter fraud across multiple swing states. Multiple politicians, including current President Donald Trump, have claimed that Joe Biden won multiple states like Georgia and Pennsylvania through mass and fake Democratic votes. These claims have not invalidated any election results so far. However, on January 7th, 2021, Trump apparently conceded as he posted a video on Twitter saying that, quote, my focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power, end quote. This comes after two months of saying that he would not concede to President-elect Joe Biden due to apparent voter fraud. We hope this video educated our fellow Barons on the inauguration process and shed some light on the 2020 election. Stay safe, Barons.